Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this pretty short video, I'm going to check the new Fierce FV mini monitor for the docking. The resolution of this 2 inch monitor is 320 by 240. On its left side you can find buttons for adjusting its brightness and contrast. On its right side you can find the switch for selecting the video source. The first option is the video feed of the docking, so you can simply watch your FEV feed over here. And the second option, which is pretty useful in my opinion, is to use this 3 pins connector, plug in a camera, and then you can simply use the screen in order to configure it. On the top side of the screen, you can find this connector, which is going to be plugged to the HDMI port of the docking, so you can still use the DVR module. The monitor is going to be mounted on the back of the docking, and in order to mount it, you will need to remove these screws from the top right and bottom left corners and then use these two long screws which are provided with the monitor in order to mount it. The screen is mounted on a hinge and if the DVR model is not mounted on the top it can rotate to up to 180 degrees. In addition, along with the monitor you are also getting this removable hood which is made out of rubber and it's going to enable you to access the buttons on the left and also the switch and the camera port on the right. The main purpose of this sort of setup is of course not to fly FPV because a 2 inch monitor is way too small so you're going to probably use it for spectating and for configuring the quadcopter and the FPV camera on the bench. Now let's turn on the docking. The first FPV logo is going to appear on the screen and now over here you can see the menu of the docking. The TBS Fusion model which I just received today and I'm going to test soon is nicely mounted on the front and if I'm going to move this joystick, you can see its menus on the screen as well. Now I'm going to plug in a quadcopter. And here you can see the quality of the image. So the resolution of the screen is 320 by 240. So the quality of the screen is pretty good. I also tested the screen on direct sunlight and using the provided hood, it works pretty well. Now I've got the Runcam Racer Nano FED camera connected to the 3 pins connector on the right. After flipping the switch, we can see the video feed of the camera and we can use the on-screen display configuration tool in order to set it up. You should note that this 3 pins to 3 pins male connector is not provided with the docking monitor and I recommend to make one yourself because it's going to make things easier since some cameras are using female plugs so you can simply plug one side to the camera plug and the other one to the docking monitor. In terms of battery consumption, when the screen is off the discharging rate is about 0.56 ampere hour and after connecting the screen it's up to about 0.73 ampere hour so the discharging rate of the screen on its own is about 0.17 ampere hour. In terms of pricing, the docking monitor costs $40, so it's not very cheap but not very expensive, and I think that it makes a nice add-on if you already have the docking system. So that's going to be it for this pretty short video, and as always, if you have any questions about this monitor, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.